Yeah. Like, right there. Why does it like, what makes this night more special to you than any of the other nights of being on American Idol other than it's the finale? Um, I get to share the stage with him and I'm honored to do that. I mean, he's so incredibly talented and the fact that we got to perform in that venue with it packed full, um, it's a dream come true. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, same with you. I mean, it's just been we learn so much just from each other, like watching each other and, and jamming yeah. with each other that I think that it's just, this whole experience has been so amazing and such an honor, like with, I mean, just the whole, we get to learn every facet of the entertainment industry and, and you know, even talking with you guys and I mean, the whole experience has been, it's been incredible, you know? Um, you guys both had a great night. So what was one thing you, that went and you felt stoked about and what's one thing that you wish you had gone a little better? Um, one thing I wish I could have done better was a little bit better breath control in the first song. I mean, my adrenaline was going, and I opened up the show, and it was great, but um, I was just really stoked, a little too stoked to be on stage first. <laughs> so, um, But what I really liked was the last performance. I mean, I for my last song, it was the last performance I, w I was going to give before the voting was out for the whole season, so I kind of just took it in, and and I was singing my song, which is available on iTunes. <laughs> As is mine. Yeah. Um, but it was just it was just cool, so I kind of just took it in, so, yeah. How about you, Huh? How Your turn. You? Oh. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, even what she was just talking about, the adrenaline stuff, like just trying to control that was the biggest thing because we saw all these people, we, we saw everybody out there, that it was just like, I mean, that's the biggest crowd that I've ever performed in front of. So, I mean, it was just kind of like a surreal moment where I, you know, I almost lost it, you know, right there. Where I was like, I kind of just literally for one second, everything almost went out of my brain, like just how to sing, how to, how to, you know, breathe, how to fart, like all that stuff just was gone. But I mean, I, I had a blast and yet, you know, I think that's the biggest thing is, is breath control for me too, is that just trying to control my breath and, um, and just, and just stay in focus as much as possible when all the stuff's going on. To go first, you want to mm -hmm. what went into that decision? Um, I mean, since there's only two of us left, the order shouldn't matter, in, in my opinion. I mean, and to open up the show with that big number, I mean, dog days are over is such a huge number, and, and I, you know, since I was going first, I wanted it to be big, so I asked um, the stage manager if I could have six drummers on stage with me, so I just wanted to make a good opening. So, yeah. I loved it. He's awesome. I mean, he he picked some great songs. I mean, you did amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, we know. I mean, we've never actually spoken to this guy, but you know, but um, he picked some great. True. He picked some great songs. You know, yeah, yeah. And uh, but I mean, he 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 nailed the song choices. You know, I mean, we haven't met him, but he's been watching us since like the beginning. You know, and um, oh my god. But. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Uh, Caleb, were you nervous taking on Tremont? Because you really, like, we hear you screaming and doing those awesome notes and then were you really nervous after being sick last week and taking that on and having to perform twice after that? Yeah, you know, the, that, the last week was probably the, the most scariest uh, experience. I mean, going out on there, going out there with no voice. And I mean, I'm still like on the men right now, like my voice is not even anywhere near close to what it was starting out this season. Um, so yeah, I mean, doing that, I mean, to be completely honest with you, in the rehearsal state, it absolutely, it sucked. So I mean, like I had to, again, just relax and just try to use the, whatever I have of my voice, you know, in those moments, like you, it's, it, it's mixed with adrenaline, it's emotions, it's all this stuff that you have to just channel it into where you can hone it into where it's the best possible performance possible. This is awesome. I mean, I'm a baby still, so it's it's cool to just even be in the live shows. I mean, to get to that point, I mean, when I found out that I was a wild card pick, I, I knew that that performance was going to go into the future of the competition and potentially my life. So to get this far and to prove to America that I do belong here is an insane feeling. I'm so happy to be here. 
Yeah, this is amazing. Whoever, people can just call it, call it out. Okay, okay. Hi, Gina and Kyla. Hey. I'm Drina from Wild Bunny Bunny in Bay Area, San Francisco. We don't really have a question. We just want you to say hi to your fans in the Bay Area. We're going to put this on our Facebook and Go ahead, you can go first. The fans that voted for you in the Bay Area. What's poppin', G's? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support and love throughout this crazy, you know, insane. Thank you. Insane ride. You guys so are amazing. Much. Thank you so much. Will you guys be performing with Kiss and Paramore tomorrow? Yes. I'm not. I'm not performing. Not Shut to, yeah. up. Yes, you are. No, yeah. I, no, Kiss, I, I rehearsed with Kiss last night, and they were absolutely amazing. I mean, they were some of the nice funniest people that I've ever met and it was they were so welcoming and it's I I, I heard that they they they've spent twenty five thousand dollars worth of pyro for the show tomorrow and we rehearsed it and it was literally like fourth of July. Like it was like <laughs> like just it's 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 insane. And I, and I'm gonna have a blast and it's gonna be nuts and I mean she's still like she's freaking out because I mean Paramore that's like you know her yeah. favorite band like Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. I haven't rehearsed with them yet, but it should be good. Hey, Caleb, you yeah. are off mic. Can you go back to the mic? It's Tammy from Mix 96.5 and 105.9. Oh, hey. Oh, you still got the hair. You got the, I, know. I know. It's in my uh, eyes. Yeah, sorry. I know. Yeah. Hey, uh, can you do the kiss thing again for us? Just uh, can you tell what song you're singing? And, uh, I don't know. Can, can I say what song we're singing? No. No. Sorry. Okay, can you just talk about what it was like to be to meet Jimmy Summers? Is it your brother's favorite band? Yeah. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, they um you know, last night we rehearsed, you know, for about an hour and a half, I think, but what was so cool was they we actually just hung out like in a room for like forty five minutes and they were just so I mean, incredibly nice and, and hilarious and um and I think they actually want to meet my brother. So like my, I'm gonna get my, let my brother meet them, you know, tomorrow and hang out with them and they were I mean, they were seriously some of the nicest people I've ever met and they were just so insightful and just gave me a lot of um a lot of good uh, feedback. Gene Simmons was like, hey, man, I'm not going to sugarcoat this, but, man, you've got the goods. And I was like, wow. You know, like, that was, I mean, that's an icon, like an icon of rock and roll. And uh, it was just crazy. I mean, I'm so, so excited to get to perform with them tomorrow. It's going to be nuts. Are you going to be in costume or are you going to paint your face? Uh, you know, they, they, the producers had talked about it, but I'll just look so, so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> can, we see an, can we see an impression? Oh yeah, Gene. Like like yes, last night he was like this in my face, like the whole time. It's a ma it's a massive tongue. I mean, it's massive. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> How many hours of sleep are you guys gonna be able to get tonight? We haven't had any for the past three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's going on in your minds right now, knowing that you guys both gave it your all, and you know we're only one night away from the results show. To be honest, I'm so glad tonight's over. Yeah. Um, there's no pressure. I mean, tomorrow's going to be an awesome show just because there's no no possible thing we could do to kind of make the votes go in our favor. So we're just going to have fun. Yeah, this, I mean, it was nuts. It was crazy. Yeah. Are you guys going to make the From Justin to Kelly sequel? Yeah, it's, it's, in the wor it's actually in the works right now. But we're going to do like a weird like Rocky Horror Picture Show type take on it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a different circumstance since you are playing to cameras and 90% and of the people that are watching the show are, are at home. I mean, you have to play to those people as well as the audience itself. So um, it's definitely a different circumstance rather than you being on tour and playing shows just to the whole, you know, stadium or venue or whatever. So, I mean, it's different, but... Um, yeah. You're talking about tonight, performing tonight? We have practice. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it's a completely different yeah. vibe, you know? Because the studio audience, it's, it's kind of like everybody's boxed in and this one was just so open and spacious that you could hear the the echo of your voice going out so it was just like this real anthem like you know it was like you were performing like a you know a stadium, a stadium. we were performing in a stadium weren't we it's awesome yeah. but it was just like it'd be one section at a time exactly yeah somebody said that the that the studio the the studio room was like one section of the uh nokia like it was just like one chunk you know we get a lot of practice, though, throughout the whole season, so. Kayla, Bruce Steele from the Citizen Times, how you doing? Hey, man, good to see you again. Good to see you. We, can, we expect an album release party in Asheville at some point? Yeah, I mean, that would be, yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, you know, I, you know I haven't, the last time I was in Asheville was, at, you know, at the 
homecoming thing. And, I, you know, I had a blast, but it was so quick that I didn't even really get to see anyone. <laughs> to yeah. anything. It was like, oh, and then you're out, you know. <laughs> Gina. Yeah. Um, hey, darling. Hi. Hey, um, can you talk to us a little bit about you're going to be performing with Demi? I know with the girls, but with mm -hmm. Demi. So can you tell me what it was like like meeting her and if you got to rehearse with her and talk with her? And then what are some of the stuff that you want to talk to Haley Williams about from her and Oh, God. Pick her brain about? Um, Demi is extremely hardworking. I mean, she came right into the rehearsal, said hi to everyone, and learned all of our names, which is really nice, um, and then got right down to work. So you can tell that she she wants to put on the best performance she possibly can, which I am so, you know, it's, it's awesome to see since she's so, you know, professional and so successful. She still wants to put on the best performance wherever it may be. Um, and Haley, I hope I get her numbers. We can text all the time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna fangirl a little bit, but um, she's an awesome person. I mean, she's an awesome performer. I've loved that band since I was 12 years old, so there's gonna be a lot of things that I would like to talk to her about, but so little time. Mm -hmm. So one of the coolest things about American Idol, I think, is like circa a few months ago, you guys were just, oh yeah, American Idol, yeah, yeah. that's cool. And now you guys are kind of becoming little superstars. So how do you feel about that? Like, what is it like? Do you feel like a celebrity yet? Um, I mean, to be honest, not not really. I mean, we we've no. been in this bubble that we, I mean, the hometown thing was really the biggest like shock where we saw like, it was a reality how, check. It was a reality yeah. check of how many people like have been watching and stuff like that. But I mean, for me personally, I I don't feel like you know a celebrity like at all. You know, like I think that this whole experience like we've just been working so hard. Every, I mean, we work like every day that we don't get a chance to see like really the impact that it take has. Take it in as much. Yeah. Okay, guys, we have time for three more questions. Hey, guys, how was that tonight with the whole top 13 on the stage tonight? It's so awesome. It was awesome, yeah. It was so awesome. I mean, I can honestly say that we all get along, and that's why I'm so excited for tour. Um, I mean, it's just going to be an awesome summer to perform with, you know, nine other best friends that I've made, so... Yeah, and it's like cool. Alex was my roommate. He he'd been my roommate the whole time. Yeah. Throughout this whole thing, so me and him just had a, a really great, strong friendship. And it just it sucked so bad when when he um, was cut top three because he had to move out. And I was literally I literally I cried that night. And I'm being 100 percent serious. So Y'all think I'm BSing, but I cried that night because we had been through so much together that he was gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys are friends. Have you talked about what's going to happen tomorrow night when Hillary wins? And is it going to get awkward? No, I'm, yes, it's going to get totally awkward. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate you no matter what. Um, no, I mean, we're extremely happy no matter what happens. I mean, we've had a bunch of pep talks, especially leading up to tonight. I'm so thankful that, you know, we're even here. We're yeah. even here. So, I mean, I surpassed my goal. I wanted top five. So and just to be here is amazing. Uh, you know, I did do, what's funny is that I did do, uh, like, around set. Well, not, not the Chris Farley one, but the Harry Carey. Like, we did, a, we did, like, an SNL thing back in high school. Can you do a little so, of that for us, please? So we did, like, I would go around and be like, Hey, now, doctor, if the moon was made of barbecue spare ribs, would you eat it? Heck, I know I, I would, and then I'd polish it off with a tall, cool Budweiser. <laughs> I have a couple of friends that call me whiskers. Like, you know, like, it, it's... You know, we did stuff like that. Thank you. Yeah. Both well, you guys are putting your first song on iTunes. It's not a cover. It's actually an original song. Um, with those two songs that you guys got to perform tonight, which, do you feel like that's the kind of song that you want to make for your album, and are you happy to kind of put that as your first song? Uh, not necessarily, to be honest. I mean, it's the label has definitely gotten a, a chance to see you know, what kind of artists we are, but just through the show. I mean, we haven't even shown them, like, our original music because we both write. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's it's a, an amazing starting point. I mean, this song does, the songs do fit us really well, and that's why I was so excited to perform it. But there's a lot of room to grow and evolve into the artists that, I mean, I want to be. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I just did out of what she said. Awesome. Thanks, guys, so much. Woo! That's a wrap. The meat love one? Yeah. I don't know it. I don't know it by heart. What? Um, no, I don't know it by heart. Yeah. But I mean, I would do that. I mean, I would do that. That song. I love that song. <laughs>